morning! So I've had a few requests to do my brow routine for a video, so that is what I'm going to do today. I'm hoping that maybe my brow routine might be helpful for some of you guys because I personally have had quite the struggle with my brows. I've pretty much hated them since I was really, 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 really young. One of my brows is naturally higher than the other, and that's actually more common than I realized when I was young. I used to obsess over like magazine pictures and movies, like trying to find somebody who had brows that were different heights like I did, and I actually ended up finding quite a few famous people who had them, so I started to feel a little bit better about it, but it's always been something that I've really, really hated about my brows. And also, the shape has never been quite to my liking. In general, I really like the look of like more hair brows and I'll talk about this more in the video um, rather than like the block brows um, and it's hard to do because my brow hairs are so dark and my skin is so light so I do have a couple of tips to navigate that situation as well so um, before I ramble on for another couple of years let's just get started with the brow tutorial Okay, so you can see what I'm talking about with my brows. They're very uneven and they've kind of always been that way. And I've kind of kind of gotten over the fact that like brows are sisters, not twins. Um, but I still do really want them to just at least trick your eye into thinking that they're kind of the same. So, because right now mine are cousins. They're not even sisters. So I'm going to get started and show you kind of what I do for my brow routine. I start off with a spoolie brush and just kind of comb into place. I'm going to be looking downward at my mirror here, so just bear with me. But you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'll comb them upward. In general, I really like this eyebrow better than the other one, so I kind of enhance this one, but I try to make the other side match it. So I'm going to go ahead and just comb these guys. And I could get into like all the different things that I hate about my brows, but it would be a really long video. Now I'm going to take my flat definer brush. This one is by Sigma. And then I have some concealer on the back of my hand. This one is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Concealer. So I'm gonna take a little bit, I'll see if I can show you. I'm gonna look down in my mirror. Take a little bit on the brush, just like touch the edge of the brush to the product. Now what you wanna do is kind of outline the area that you want your brows to occupy in the end. So right now my brows are thinner than I like them to be so I kind of outline a shape that's a little bit more full. And you can do the bottom and the top or just the bottom. I think some people might do just the top. I don't know. I usually do the bottom. Sometimes I do both but I find it's more natural when you just kind of outline the bottom and you can blend it with your primer that way more easily and it's a lot less, um, it's a lot more seamless. So I'm going to start here kind of where this straight part is of my brow, if that makes sense. So right here it starts to like swoop upward, but here it's just straight for a little while. And so I'm going to just define that. So then, since I have a straight line, it obviously goes way too far over, but that's okay, because like I said, I'm gonna blend it. Um, but that's what I do first. And then I pick the point where I want it to start sloping upward and kind of just mimic the shape that my brow already has, just a little bit fuller. So make that slope upward like that. You want to make it seamless so it's not like a corner, really, but it's more of just a gradually sloping line. So I have this space here where there isn't any hair and there isn't any concealer, so that's where I'm going to fill it in. So right before the arch, kind of, is where I bring it up to meet the actual um, hairs of my brow. And then all you have to do from there is get a little more concealer and just trace and define where your brows already are. You want really the, the least amount of product that you can manage in this area because it's just less work for you to blend later. And then you want to bring it down as long as you want the tail to be, and you can do it even longer because you're just going to blend. So I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other side. Now the other side, because my brows are so different, is a different animal. So whereas on this side, I pretty much followed the shape of my brow except for that one little spot right there. On this side, I have to kind of tweak it a little bit more, and you'll kind of see what I mean. So again, starting here. And as you can see, this brow is shorter than this one, so this one comes in farther. So I want to kind of help this one to like 
migrate that way. So I'm actually going to bring the concealer line out a little farther. My brow is not going to come that far in, but I do want to get it out a little bit farther. And start to slope it upward. Now on this side, because this brow is smaller and thinner, it's going to have a bigger space where I need to fill in than this one did. But same thing, just bring it up to meet that arch of the brow right there. Then make it a smooth slope. And then bringing it down to make the tail again. And blending downward all the way in. Okay, so that is the prep stage and it's a lot easier from here on out. It's just kind of filling in and I will show you exactly what I do for that. Um, so the problem with my brows that makes them a little bit difficult to fill in and the reason it has taken me so long to find my perfect brow routine is the fact that my hairs are so dark, they're pretty much black, but my skin is so fair. So I can't just draw on big caterpillars in black because I'm just going to look like a crazy person, but I also can't use like a really light color that would be more like compatible with my skin, I guess, because that's not the color of my brows and it's going to look unnatural. So I had a really, really hard time and quite a battle trying to find what I was really happy with. And this is what I ended up um, really liking. So I do use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomming. This is in the shade Dark Brown. And even when I buy this, people are surprised that I get dark brown because my skin is so fair. But um, because I literally use it to draw hairs on, it's fine because it matches the color of my actual brow hairs. So I'll show you exactly how I do that. So what I'm going to do is I will take an angled brush and this is a 263 by MAC I think. Yep, it's 263 but it works really well for brows. So I'm going to just dip this in and get the tiniest amount of product on here. Just a little bit. And it's still way too much so I take the inside of the lid and wipe it off and kind of work from here like my palette. So I'll dip a little bit on there. I'm just gonna go in and draw hairs on. You have to be a little bit careful, but really they're hairs, so you want them to look natural. They don't need to be in a perfectly straight line or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw those on. And this part is something I like to get really close to the mirror to do, so um, just bear with me for a second because I can't see as well as normally. So see how you can still see the skin between the little brush strokes that I'm making? And it makes it look more like they're actual hairs. And when you get to the arch, it's okay to make it a little bit denser and darker. Don't be too afraid of this step because you can always take that concealer brush and go in and clean it up if you mess up. It's really not a big deal and it's not hard at all. In general, I like my brows to look hairy and not like blocks of color. So you just want to make sure that you are kind of contributing to that overall effect. And then I will take it at the base here with the tiniest amount of product and just kind of flick it upward like that to fill in if there are any sparse areas. Now that you've gotten that part done where you have to draw the hairs in, you want to go and do the arch and the tail. So for mine, I like the arch and the tail to be a little bit more solid and a little bit more bold than the rest of my brows. So I like it to be kind of like a fade effect from like more natural and hairy into like a little bit more bold and solid like I said. So you can just take the same brush, get a little bit more product on and then I start here and I kind of draw and shape the brow into kind of the place that you want it to be. So you can kind of see how it just gets darker here and emphasizes that arch because that's the part that really frames your face so I feel like it's nice to kind of make that a little bit more defined.
then on this side I have more of a struggle with my arch than I do on the other side so I'm gonna kind of fill in where there really is no hair with the pomade and bring it down So now you can see that they are pretty much even. I mean, if you got down and looked at each individual hair, it's not going to be perfect. But like I said, we're going for sisters, not twins. And as long as they're sisters and not cousins, I'm perfectly content with that. So I like the shape that they are. I like them kind of, like I said, hairy. I like bold eyebrows. I like kind of the ones that you see in the magazines where they almost look unkempt but they're bold and hair so that is the basic shape that I go for the next thing that I do is I actually take this Anastasia um, gel and this one so there's two different ones this one is actually a tinted gel and this one is just the clear gel and I use both so this one is the tinted one and it is in the shade caramel now I always stay very far away from anything that's called caramel because that's really warm and warm is just not suited for me whatsoever but this is not so much of a caramel color it's more of like a golden beige kind of so it works just fine I actually got it when I was working at Sephora and it was um, as part of my gratis and I looked at it and I was like this is never going to work for me and then I opened it and it is literally gold I don't know if you can tell but it is shimmery and it is gold and I was like Anastasia what the heck are you thinking um, and it took me a long time to even start using this. So because, like I said, this is pretty much gold, you have to be very sparing with it. So what I do is I will take it and wipe off as much as I possibly can. So I have the really dark, like, kind of um, brow hairs right now. But to put a little bit of this gold on top of it gives it dimension, makes it look a little bit more natural. Because a lot of the time we have a few different shades of hair going on. Um, so this kind of adds that back in when I've taken it out by putting the darkness over it. So like I said, just wiping off as much as I can. And then I will just go on to the hairy part. So from here till about here before it starts getting dark because I want that to stay dark. And just lightly. So you can see how it kind of fades a little bit more from lightness and I still have like that darkness in my brow hairs but this gold part kind of picks up on my natural hair color which is blonde um, and kind of ties it all together. I'm going to go ahead and continue that on the other side and the nice thing about this is that it's a brow gel so it's going to keep your hairs in place. Then I go in with my clear brow gel and I just do the tails and the arches. You may find that you don't need to do this step but my brow hairs are they have a mind of their own so um, I really do actually need to kind of tell them where to go or they just do whatever it is they feel like doing. And that is it, you guys. That is my whole brow routine. I hope that this helps a little bit, maybe. I know brows are something that are pretty, like, ambiguous and kind of hard to nail down. Um, I feel like my brows are very, very difficult to work with for many reasons, so I hope that maybe I've addressed some issues that you might be having with your brows. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!